Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper at radioprepper.com. Today I'm making a Slim Jim antenna. It's for my uh, PRC352 uh, on 6 meters, 50 megahertz, actually 51.625 megahertz. I've uh, made those antennas before and they are really excellent. Uh, I've made uh, one for uh, VHF, 2 meters out of uh, copper tubing and uh, had excellent results. Uh, I also made one for uh, 6 meter, but uh, the lower part of 6 meter, uh, when I used to have a gun set communicator on 6 meter, a great radio, uh, I think it was on 50.4 megahertz, uh, so quite, uh, quite a bit lower. Um, today we are going to use a ladder line, uh, it's uh, a feed line usually used to uh, feed other antennas. Um, it will make the uh, antenna very portable uh, as opposed to the one I made out of copper tubing because you can just roll it up and put it in your backpack. So um, this one is about four meters long and um, I won't get into the uh, theory of these antennas uh, but I will include a couple links on uh, the description. One to the uh, M0 UKD Slim Jim calculator and I'd like to thank him for making that page available. Uh, you can just uh, plug in your frequency and click on a button and uh, it will give you all the uh, measurements you need to build the antenna. So let's get started. Here I'm going to use uh, some ladder line of course. I have two pieces of copper rods, three millimeters, and a BNC adapter. So uh, I need to uh, take care of the bottom first. I'm uh, putting some solder on the wires here because we are going to close that end, uh, which is the uh, bottom of the antenna. Here I join the uh, two uh, wires together and I'm soldering them. So this is the little piece that will go on the bottom. Here's how it looks now. It's actually a little bit too long, so I'm trimming it here. The uh, feed point is about uh, 13 centimeters from the bottom. You can see here how short it is. So I'm thinning uh, both sides here. And uh, now I'm going to um, clean up the end of the rods. The uh, copper rods I used because I want to be able to change the uh, feed point position. The problem in uh, thinning the uh, rods is that uh, copper is very uh, heat conductive, so they cool down fairly quickly. Uh, you need to have a soldering iron that is powerful enough to uh, to heat them up to uh, to be able to solder on. Now I'm joining the two, the bottom of the antenna, to the uh, copper rod where the uh, BNC adapter is going to slide. Let's do the uh, second one. What I'm going to do after is to use some uh, heat shrink tubing to uh, protect the, uh, basically make it look better also and protect the contacts. You'll see a little bit later uh, how this is going to work. Now all I need to do is to uh, heat up the tubing and it will shrink. And we do that with a lighter. 
I use uh, heat shrink tubing for a lot of stuff. Uh, it's it's really really useful, and you can buy them in uh, lots of different sizes. You better do it on both sides because uh, it doesn't shrink uh, evenly otherwise. And there we go, looks pretty good. And this is how the uh, BNC adapter is going to slide. I had to drill the holes a little bit bigger because um, they were too small. So I uh, drilled a 3.5 millimeter hole in each of the uh, um, holes there. And I can screw them tight and uh, basically uh, move the feed point and that changes the impedance so it changes the uh, SWR of course there is a uh, an ideal feed point position where it's exactly 50 ohms again I'm using some uh, heat shrink tubing on both sides and uh, there we go now of course uh, if I knew exactly where the feed point was going to be and uh, the calculation might be right on but uh, you never know so I wanted to have a sliding feed point so I could experiment if I build another one later I will just make it the same size and uh, use the uh, just solder the wires on basically and here we have the gap and I use a little bit of uh, heat shrink tubing and uh, polypropylene clothesline uh, it's just to reinforce the gap a little bit and uh, also make it look better, basically. The uh, clothesline is just there to, uh, basically, for the uh, heat shrink tubing to, uh, to keep its shape. It's not going to be very strong or much stronger, but it will be better than having a, a big uh, gap in the middle like this. Now, the uh, gap is on the ground side so there we go i will put a little bit of super glue i better hurry because it's going to dry very very fast and it just happened to be the right size sometimes just things turn out really good Let's glue the uh, other end. And that's it, it looks uh, much better now. I'm also using on the uh, slider a uh, double male barrel plug for the uh, BNC connector um, so that of course you can connect a um, coax cable so here's the antenna I mounted it uh, on a telescopic mast and here I have the antenna analyzer MR100 I cut the antenna a little longer on purpose. Uh, we'll see where the uh, resonant frequency is.
so it's resonant on 50 to 100 which is a little bit high so I'm going to try to move the uh, feet point a little lower which I uh, just did actually Oh, much worse. <laughs> now I moved the uh, fit point a little higher actually. About the same as before. Not bad. I'm glad I cut the antenna slightly uh, longer than the uh, calculator gave me. Um, and if I had uh, uh, added about the same amount, actually, it would have been perfect. It's almost perfect. Uh, I was hoping for 51.5 megahertz and I got 52.1 megahertz. Uh, but uh, it's not a big deal because uh, the SWR is still below 1.5 to 1 at the uh, frequency I'm interested in. So I'm sure I can get even closer by moving the slider slightly. The next one will be perfect because uh, I will make it slightly longer. I won't use the uh, copper rods or the slider. I'll just uh, solder the wires on. And uh, it will be just the right size and right on the money. Uh, the uh, measurements, uh, all the other measurements were uh, pretty good. Um, the uh, feed point measurement was uh, perfect, uh, the way uh, the calculator uh, gave it. Uh, the uh, quarter wave stub uh, C, the uh, gap E, and uh, everything else was, was excellent uh, except for the length of the antenna. And maybe that's because uh, I was using ladder line and the, uh, the spacing is a little bit closer. So I don't know exactly what happens there, but I guess it does make the antenna, uh, well, it has to be a little bit longer than the calculator gives you. So make sure you, uh, you, you have a little bit of margin. It's easier to uh, cut a bit uh, on top of the antenna than to add a piece to it. So, of course, uh, make your antenna a, a little bit longer. Other than that, I'm very happy about the result. I will be uh, testing it in the field. Not tonight, of course, it's getting late, but uh, uh, great result with the antenna. I wish I could have showed you the, uh, the graph of the uh, antenna analysis, but uh, I, uh, it was Windows and uh, <laughs> I pressed the uh, uh, print screen button to save a screenshot and usually it works and not this time. So I guess uh, that's all you get for tonight. Have a good one.